The construction industry in the UK has a number of issues. Uh, low productivity, significant skills shortages, and poor design performance against the original architectural design. We also have a housing shortage in the UK and it's estimated we need to build 300,000 new homes every year in order to meet the demand for housing. In addition, the government has expressed the need to improve the cost effectiveness, productivity and timeliness of infrastructure delivery. Offsite construction promises increased speed of delivery, increased efficiencies, greater control and less waste. Off-site construction is a somewhat ill-defined term. It's really the planning, design, fabrication and assembly of building elements done at a location other than their final installed location. It's actually been taking place since the end of the First World War and you only need to think about prefabs from the 1950s and 60s to realise it's actually been around quite some time. But nowadays it's becoming much more flexible, much more sophisticated, Often the outputs are indistinguishable from traditional build. Digitalisation of the industry uh, matched against new manufacturing techniques is also opening up the potential of off-site construction. The UK is seen as a world leader in off-site construction delivery, but it's important to remember there's a lot of activity overseas as well, in particular in China, uh, who are very advanced in the development and commitment to what they call industrial construction. And they have their own commitment to deliver 25% of all new Chinese buildings by 2025 using industrial construction, i.e. off-site techniques. This will have an impact on the UK market. BSI is engaged in a lot of activity around off-site construction. We're, um, engaged with industry, we have run workshops, uh, we have commissioned a piece of research uh, from Loughborough University and the organisation Build Offsite. They're looking at the use of existing standards in offsite construction, they're looking at technical barriers and gaps where standards may bring benefits. Key areas that have identified, been identified so far include integration and connections, design processes including systems design, and tolerances, accuracy, joints and coordination. So it's really about the interaction between the different elements. We're also revising BS 5606, which is our guide to accuracy in buildings. And we're inputting into a new ISO standard. And we're discussing a brand new PAS for the design and procurement of generic MMC systems for residential development with HTA design. BSI is working with industry to establish its role within the wider issues around rollout of off-site construction and that includes the risk and procurement aspects, the new skills and training delivery and capacity planning that is needed. They do this by streamlining processes and so they boost productivity, they standardise solutions and this is a key enabler for allowing production at scale and they establish benchmarks of quality which provide confidence in the market and forms the basis for certification and compliance. All of this activity around technical standards will pave the way for establishing a new BSI technical committee that will help to drive the programme of standards forward. The increase in experience and learning will enable the benefits to be fully realised and new areas, that is new products, new processes, will be developed. Unintended consequences that naturally arise in new areas will have been identified and resolved. Offsite construction will operate alongside traditional build during the next 10 years and stand as an alternative to it. But as the benefits are realised, it could very easily eclipse traditional building techniques in the UK and become the preferred and more common practice.